Sky Coaster. Promoted as the ride at Dreamworld, this beautiful Vacoma coaster, from its flawless experience to memorable elements, is something truly special. But does Sky Coaster live up to its hype? Find out in this review. This Vacoma suspended coaster was originally and briefly centrifuge at World Expo Park in Australia. Debuting in 1988, this is one of Vacoma's oldest suspended roller coasters. After a five year hiatus, this coaster was relocated to the newly opened Dreamworld in Patun Thani, Thailand, which is just north of Bangkok. At first, this coaster was called the Hanging Coaster to describe the original suspended trains that I love that hung down below the track. In 2007, Hanging Coaster got new floorless seats and was rebranded Sky Coaster. Having ridden one of Vacoma's family suspended coasters, which have an almost lap bar style restraint versus the more traditional over the shoulder restraints, I can't help but think these looser restraints would significantly improve the feel of Sky Coaster, especially due to how well Sky Coaster executes its roller coaster elements. Sky Coaster is visually pleasing, located in the middle of the long plot that is Dreamworld. Being above the vintage cars, next to the bump boat lake, and not too far away from Black Hole Coaster, or many other rides in the back of Dreamworld, Sky Coaster is in the prime position to get your attention and build your excitement for what is to come. As far as seating, there's not a separate line for the front row, so it became challenging for me to wait out and achieve sitting up there. Though, I did not experience much difference as far as how the coaster ran between the different rows, so you should be fine in any row. However, obviously, the view from the front row is nicer, if that is extremely important to you after a slow dispatch from the station. When I visited on a slower day, the operators held the trains in the station for anywhere from two to five minutes, trying to wait for a more full load. The trains depart to a small turnaround. And with the stabilizing track below, preventing you from swinging during this turn, the lateral Gs are pretty enjoyable as it creates a memorable pushing sensation. Then you're in for a slow climb up the chain lift that climaxes in a slow dangle at the very top of the chain lift. With how slow you are moving, it is slightly terrifying and exciting to see the chain lift floor vanish and be left staring down with nothing below you. The turn into the straightaway takes total advantage of suspended swinging cars and allows you to slowly swing while high up in the air. This is followed by two 180 degree helixes that have you swing out and experience the beauty of suspended helix turns for the first time on Sky Coaster. Then comes the largest drop, which really isn't too big, but gives a nice enough pop that you can at least feel and enjoy it. Then Sky Coaster turns around and heads into its main element. Various helix towers that have you swing out as you go down in a circular helix. Finally, the ride slowly turns around to head back to the station where you brake and then enter the station. Since there's only ever one train running on Sky Coaster. Although fun looking and enjoyable from a family perspective, these Helix towers just don't do it for me. I can enjoy all of the other elements on Sky Coaster for what they are, but the main Helixes just feel like such neutral roller coaster elements that it becomes hard for me to get excited about Sky Coaster. Many of the elements, from the slow drop off the chain lift, to the straight piece high up in the air, to the second drop, to the twist between the helixes, are oh, well done, and offer memorable enough elements that on a normal coaster would make it rocket up my coaster rankings. 
But the overall pleasure I have on suspended coasters nowadays, even with the floorless seats, just doesn't seem to be too high. Especially as I've grown to view helixes as more boring elements on roller coasters. Ultimately, Sky Coaster falls far down my roller coaster ranking. Placing between lower rated family coasters, just below Wave Breaker the Rescue Coaster at SeaWorld San Antonio, and right above Cobra's Kirsch at Bush Gardens Tampa Bay. While these are both enjoyable rides, like Sky Coaster itself, they just aren't that great or enjoyable of roller coasters to me, as I prefer different styles and designs. Let me know what your thoughts on Sky Coaster Dreamworld are. And as always, Capcom Crop.